everybody. Can you all hear me? All right, good. I am Mari Lewitt, also known as the new gray mayor. And tonight I will be showing you how to take lovely Hasbro box hair and turn it into beautiful show accurate hair. Now I'll also show you a few tips and tricks for when you find ponies at the thrift shop or garage sales who might not have had such a nice life. And they look horribly frizzy. And we can turn them into this. Her hair was worse than this when I started. So first we're going to start out with showing you my basic restoration kit here. I've got everything. It's really easy to just transport in this. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, heaven. Buy these things in bulk. They are amazing. They will clean anything on ponies just about. Um, you want to use shampoos or conditioners. You want to find one with a lot of silicone in it. That's really good. It coats the pony hair. It like treats it and kind of sinks into it a little bit, makes it very smooth, keeps it from tangling. Um, this is just some Bath and Body Works conditioner that I've left over, but Suave is amazing. Pretty much all of my supplies you can buy at the dollar store. Just go to Dollar Tree, trick yourself out a nice little restoration kit. Um, you need straws. It's a good idea to get straws of varying thickness, so you have thinner straws and fatter straws. I get the fatter ones from McDonald's. <laughs> just go into McDonald's and I just grab handfuls of straws to cut up for ponies. Straws are free, yes. Um, if you have ponies with ink marks on them, because you know the thrift shop, they love to write in permanent marker on the ponies. Clear as silk. <laughs> yes, you wrap up the pony in aluminum foil, put a little clear as silk on the mark, and have, leave just the mark exposed, set it in the sun, gets rid of marks. Uh, nail polish remover. If this helps, if Mr. Clean Magic Eraser won't, move up to nail polish remover. Nail polish remover doesn't remove the marks. 100% acetone. Be careful getting this stuff around cutie marks or eyes. It will remove it very quickly. Unless you're making customs, then just bathe them in it. All right, and then of course you want a nice sharp pair of scissors, especially when we are doing ponies like Rainbow Dash, because she needs that shorter shaggy hair. Um, it's a good idea to get a comb with the varying widths so you've got the thicker teeth, you've got the thinner ones. That helps you work through the thicker curls and then refine it. Um, toothbrushes actually really help with getting rust out of tails. Or if you have finer tangles to work out, toothbrushes work great as a comb. Uh, sometimes you like a little rat tail comb just to help separate the hair a little more to help style it. Uh, and then you need paper towels that get cut up into lots of little strips and just varying widths and sizes. You need bobby pins. Plenty of these. Try to make sure you get ones that aren't going to rust. If you can find coated ones, that's really good. Otherwise, you will end up with rust in the pony's mane. And then you got a washer again. Um, and then little plastic hair ties. You can buy these things in packs of a thousand for a buck at the Dollar Tree. All right, so oh, the other thing you need, flat iron. This is a must-have for fixing pony hair that is crazy. So what I like to do, start out with some really hot water. Like, oh my goodness, that's going to burn my hands hot. I don't think this is quite that hot, but it will get there. I do. I love to rip their heads off, put them in boiling water. I'm very mean to my ponies. So we'll, we'll start out with her and show you a little bit. We'll separate that tail out in half. I've already combed it. When you comb them, you start at the bottom and slowly work your way to the top. That helps prevent the frizz. So you get it, get the hair wet, and always try to work with the pony with her tail hole facing down. That keep, helps prevent water from getting inside and molding. Hasbro puts metal washers around the tails, and those love to rust. And believe me, it is horrible to get that tail rust out. So we'll get this warming up a little bit. Okay, so slather the pony hair with conditioner. And you know, you can always pick whatever scent you like. Makes the pony hair smell good. Kind of work it in. 
comb it out. And I always wrap the hair over my finger and comb in a downward motion like that. Again, it helps keep the hair together and keeps it from becoming a poof ball of frizz. And you make sure that the conditioner is all the way through there. Okay, there we go. And sometimes if this pony hair is really tangled, it might take you a while. Um, when I fixed her hair, it probably took me an hour just to comb the conditioner into the hair. Always work with the pony hair wet when you are working with a flat iron. Just kind of give it a few passes through. Leave the conditioner in when you are working with the flat iron. That helps seal that silicone in there, helps coat the plastic, keep it nice and smooth. And if you think the ends are frizzy, you can run it through a few more times, like hold it there just a little bit, but you don't want to hold it in one place too long. Um, you can smell the plastic when it starts to burn. It'll like hiss and you'll get a little smoke going, but I've never really melted the hair into a hard ball yet. I always use it on low. I never put my flat iron on high. So you can see there, that's already smoothed out quite a bit. And then just rinse it out. that flat iron gives you that kind of difference on the tail. Um, I would do this for the mane and the tail before I started doing the rest of the pony. Okay. So, Twilight Sparkle. We're going to start out easy with pony hairstyles. Hasbro thinks everybody's a four-year-old little girl who loves lots and lots of pony hair. So Twilight Sparkle has way too much. We all know she's got a little forelock and short hair. Yes, I am. I'm going to chop it up. Oh, and tinsel with the flat iron? Move it through a little quicker. Don't hold it in there, but you can flat iron tinsel. I've never had it curl up and sizzle and melt on me yet. Always qualify with the yet. As soon as I tell you guys it never does it, it will happen. All right, so you just kind of separate out however much you want for the forelock. Pull it down and cut it longer than you really want it to be because you can always shorten it later, but if you cut it too short, that's it. So pony forelocks typically go to just a little bit above the nose, but it's going to puff up a little bit. So I'm going to cut it just below the neckline where the head attaches to the body. And when you pull it down tight like that, it helps you get a nice clean cut. <laughs> now she looks a little wild. No, she didn't. She's not Rarity. Rarity complains a lot when you cut her hair. <laughs> so there are two methods to this. The quick and easy one is just pull it down and spread out the hair a little bit to make that forelock. But what that does, it leaves an opening where the two rows of plugs are. If you want to hide that, you got to take the time to sit there, grab each plug of hair, and pull it diagonally across. And that hides that weird gap in the hair. It takes it a little bit a little bit longer to do, but it gives you a little bit of a nicer finished product. So we've got her forelock there. And I'm going to take get back down there. Behave. I always talk to my pony hair. Talk to the pony. This is why I work in the basement by myself when I restore. So I just take a rubber band <laughs> and I loop it around there and just kind of smooth it down a bit. 
and spread it out because the way you spread it out is how it is going to dry and how it will stick up. And it, it will gather together a little bit more when you do the interweaving method, whereas if you just lay it out flat, it'll be spread out more. So for the rest of her mane here, I'm going to go ahead and pull it through. So that ponytail holder is by itself holding that mane down. Now, Twilight has straight hair, and Hasbro always twists it up like this. So, you know what? We are going to get it wet, condition it, same with the tail. Put that conditioner in there. And with tinseled hair, tinsel, she is not cooperating today. Twilight must not have gotten enough sleep last night. Okay. So we got, wow, even straight out of the box. She's got some good knots in there. That's just Hasbro trying to make sure the little girls have something to comb out, I'm sure. All right. We are going to flat iron it. And G4 hair, uh, it, it'll, it's a lot more sensitive to heat than G1 hair. And what this does with the tinsel, it helps hold it in place because tinsel tends to fly around and not stay flat and nice with the hair. I leave the tinsel in there. Some people don't like it. If you want to take the time to sit there and pull every little strand of tinsel out, be my guest. I have done it. It is tedious. Doing this exactly. That, that will fix wild tinsel hair. Hers I've already kind of fixed. But yeah, that will take care of it. Boy, she's being crazy. All right, so. Her mane is way too long, and again, we need to cut it. But we want to cut it a little bit longer so we can always shorten it later. So I like to wrap it around the neck, and I tend to cut it just about in line with the middle of the eye. So, get a good idea of the length. And hold it taut. Give it a cut. And it helps if you have really sharp scissors. These I just finished restoring over 200 ponies, so they're a little dull. So, that off there, and we are going to fix that forelock next. Wrap the hair around the neck. That helps it smooth down. It's much easier to do on ones without these obnoxious wings. Because Twilight's hair in the toy is way too long, and if you want it to be show accurate, her mane does not go down past her legs. She's not Celestia. Her mane only comes up to her neck. No, I'm cutting it to make it show accurate. Um, what I would do with G1s, generally if there's, like, like on this one, she has like a few little strings hanging down. I might neaten that up, but I would not cut her tail short at all. Um, it, it's really up to you what you do with your ponies. I mean, if you want a G1 with short hair, by all means, it's your pony. Do whatever you want. Yes, exactly, and I'll, I'll show you what you do with the tail. So we've got her hair neatly wrapped around her neck. Take one of your napkins, try to find a good one here, and wrap it around that hair, and then give it a little bit of a twist. That kind of helps make sure that everything underneath it is smooth and laying down in the right direction. And then use your little ponytail holder and wrap her up. And now Toilet Sparkle looks like she has a broken neck. Poor pony. 
So we are going to fix this forelock and just do it the quick short method. Just move it down. There we go. Let's smooth that out and spread it a little bit. So for forelock, it's spread out around her horn and flattened around her face. So when this dries, she's going to turn into this. Now again, Twilight Sparkle's tail, way too long. Her tail is nowhere near this long in the show. So I would pull it out maybe to about her feet. And chop it off. Now, if you leave it like this, her tail's just going to dry in that little, tiny, flat tail. But Twilight's tail is much more spread out. So what you want to do is flatten it a bit, spread it out like that. Grab one of your bobby pins. My hands are all slippery from conditioner. And spread it out like that. So when it dries, it will dry a little more open instead of just one thin tube. Yes? Exactly. If, if it dries one way and you want it to look differently, just wash her again, restyle the hair however you want. And it does take practice. Um, ponies don't always turn out the way you want them to the first time. Sometimes you have to work with them three or four times before they finally behave. Um, the next style would be Rainbow Dash. <laughs> now, we're going to use a derpy. She's got the same hairstyle as Rainbow Dash. So this will be pretty simple. Again, get the hair wet. Conditioner. go through a lot of conditioner. This is why I buy it at the Dollar Tree. Work that through. And flat iron. Lots and lots of flat ironing. If I have a huge group of ponies that I'm going to restore, I'll go through, I'll wash all the hair and flat and straighten it, and I'll do each step in batches. Um, how do I know to use the right supplies? A lot of it is trial and error. I've been doing this for 15 years. Uh, and it's just kind of, each customizer, the more they work with it, they figure out what works for them. Um, you can go on forums online, like the My Little Pony Arena is where I learned a lot of this. Um, the people there can do amazing things with pony hair. And if you ever have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I've got a Tumblr. I've got DeviantArt. I have my own website. I'm always open to questions. Yes? You don't want to use anything with alcohol in it. That dries out the plastic. And three, four years down the road, it is going to get really brittle and dry and then there's not much you can do with it to save it. So Rainbow Dash is a forelock pony and so is Derpy. So again, we just kind of separate out that little bit we want. Take it down just past the nose. Give it a pit. And we're just gonna leave that put for now. Now with Rainbow Dash, I would separate each color. With Derpy, I'm just going to grab a chunk of hair and twist it up. So you've got a nice little knot. And her hair kind of starts shorter and gets a little bit longer further down the neck you go. So we're gonna cut it while it is still twisted. It gives it that uneven shaggy look at the end. So we've got that one done. And, you know, you can separate it out as much as you want. Two batches, three. Yes. 
This is Princess Griff's derpy. She asked me to customize it for her. Um, this is a Toys R Us pack, um, the favorite friends pack of Chrysalis. They don't call her derpy. Yeah, there's just a picture of a muffin for her name. So again, we. She she is the unnamed pony. Officially, yes. And we keep doing that. MLParena.com. All right, there we go. And much shorter mane. Oops. Got an escapee. There we go. So now that we've got her mane shortened, rinse it out. Warlock separate. and smooth it down. Now one thing you always want to keep in mind when you do this, don't do this to a pony that has already been customized and painted. Um, getting it wet and doing all that can damage the paint on the hair, or on the pony, when you're trying to style the hair. Usually the customizer will have styled the hair and that should be pretty good. There we go. So now we have a broken neck derpy. Do the same thing. Wrap the paper towel around it, give it a little twist. Ponytail holder, hold it down. Forelock. And flatten that out. There we go. And then the tail. Again, she has the kind of shaggy or uneven tail. So we are going to twist it up, pull it down, a little cut just a bit below there. I want to shorten it up later. And then that, I would just leave it to dry. But again, you, you could flatten it out if you wanted, like Twilight Sparkles, but Rainbow Dash's tail is a little shaggier. You can go through and shorten some of these so it sticks up more if you wanted to. I tend to just leave it like that. Uh, yes. I do use shampoo, but it, it strips the hair more. Um, it, it leaves it a little drier. The conditioner does a good enough job cleaning it. Um, I will use shampoo just for generally cleaning the whole pony sometimes. So, there's a derpy with Rainbow Dash's hair style. Yes. cut it. If it is melted, you're out of luck. Yeah. Okay, so we have Fluttershy. I love styling Fluttershy's hair. Her hairstyle is the simplest and the easiest to do because it is long and it's a very simple curl. So we're going to do standard process, get it wet, condition it, flat iron it. to make it really slippery. Um, I, I, I like to use enough conditioner to where you can feel it throughout the hair and sometimes I'll even use it where it's dropping off the hair. I, I use a lot of it. I slather it on. Um, it, it's kind of a personal preference. The more you use, the more often you have to buy the conditioner. But I want to make sure that all of the hair is coated. So, give it a flat iron. It's all going the same way. And then, of course, rinse it out. Usually I would do this under running water. Gets it gets the conditioner out a little bit better, but got to work with what we have. So, lovely Fluttershy. Separate the hair in half. Um, generally, I separate it just about at the ears. So you've got your, the crown and the bottom part. 
And one half goes one way, one half goes the other way. I just put a straw here to help hold it up so it gets that little bit of lift at the root. Just kind of hold that in place and take the hair, wrap it down and around the leg. And how long should I hold it for? Just until you get it wrapped. So there we go. I just kind of keep turning her around until I get all the hair going flat in the same direction. So you always get these little escapee pieces. Come here, you. And you want to make sure that when you wrap it around that the hair is flat and spread out. If you let it get bunched up and twisted, that is how it will dry, and it'll look just like the Hasbro box hair. So grab your trusty paper towels, wrap it around the leg. See, and I have that hair pulled down tight and taut, and the straw just kind of stays in there. And rubber band. There we go. Yeah, the, the rubber bands can indent the plastic, but these are like the, the really cheap hair ties. They really don't do anything to it. So now that I've got her hair like that, straw can come out. And see, it still stays put with that nice little lift. So I'm going to use a straw on the other side. And I'm going to throw it in my water bowl because that's fun. And wrap, yes it is. It, you must put the straw in the water bowl. Wrap the hair around the other side and around the leg. So it is nice and flat. And another paper towel. The reason I have all these cut out to the right size, you know that they dry. I reuse and reuse these paper towels until they fall apart. Some of these I think I've actually been using for like five or six years. Yeah, buy the bounty paper towels. They last. Alrighty. And got that there. Take out the straw. So her mane has the lift, and it is neatly wrapped around the legs. That helps give her hair that lovely little curl to either side. And then for the tail, can't be any simpler. Wrap it around the leg. But again, make sure the hair is flat. And it's not twisted. So we've got it wrapped around the leg like that. And I bet you can't possibly guess the next step. Mm. Paper towel. Rubber band. And usually when I have styled them like this, I'll leave them for 24 to 48 hours. Um, if you leave them longer, it doesn't matter. But if you take it out too soon, it will fall out a lot quicker. If you really want to set the hairstyle, you can put them in boiling water. Um, three, five seconds, 10 seconds. If you want to leave it in for a minute, just drop it in the pot and come back to it later. I've never had it damage the pony yet. So. That is Fluttershy. Simple, easy peasy. But Rarity, she's a little more fussy about her curls. She doesn't like the loose ones. She has tighter curls. We don't have to cut her hair. Boy, I love Hasbro box hair. She looks like a peacock. Either that or else she's been electrocuted. So lovely. Conditioner, on the through. I like to sit, I do all this in the basement in my laundry tub, put on some good music, sit there, dance around, maybe have the laptop going with some pony episodes while I style their hair. <laughs> How many times will it take to, to get this? Well, you know, if you chop this hair off, it's not going to grow back. You would have had to have been at my How to Rehair Ponies panel last night. 
But, you know, if you go to my Tumblr, uh, the, the new gray mayor .tumblr com, I have a how to rehair tutorial up on the website. And coming soon will be step by step tutorial for each of these hairstyles. Okay, so we got her nice and conditioned. We'll flat iron that. Hey, helps if I turn it on. Got a little more digital heat at least. And some tail. I think I comb that. There we go. Get this fussy pony's hair perfect so she doesn't end up with a docked tail. The short tails are not in this season. It might have been the first season, but not the fifth. Poor moustache. So, just like Fluttershy's hair, separate it out into two halves. All right, so the way I like to do it is which side the cutie mark is facing. This side's gonna come over this way, and this side will go the opposite. So we gotta do a fancier curl here. Oh, whoops, I didn't rinse it. There we go. If you leave the conditioner in, it doesn't really hurt it, but it does. It is much nicer if you rinse it. So here, here. So we hold it out flat. I like to use the thicker straws for Rarity's hair because her curls have a little more body to them. Wrap it around, hold it down. Use your bobby pin. at the end of it. Take a paper towel and that just wrap it around the ends. That helps hold the hair down on there straight. And you can either move the pony or move the straw, whichever method works for you. But with Rarity you want to make sure that it's a long curl. It's not all wrapped up tight and bunched in one spot. You want that length to it. So, our good friends, the ponytail holders. Yes, I used the bobby pin to hold it in place. So there you go. And then if you want to make sure that she has that nice same lift that we gave Fluttershy, put the straw under there. Okay, we got her curl where we want it. So now see if I let go of this, it's all gonna uncurl. So now that we have the paper towel wrapped around the end, take another ponytail holder and Wrap that straw to the leg, and then that stays put. Okay, there we go. And now we do the same thing with the other side. Switch it over. And bobby pin. I like the really long ones, but you know, it's kind of whatever you got laying around the house. Yes, these techniques will work for Equestria Girls dolls, they'll work for Barbie, they'll work for your cosplay wigs. They will work for any synthetic nylon hair. Yes, you can use this on the Build-A-Bear ones, you can use this on the Thai plush beanies. I know their hair's a mess. Um, those little cute pony purses like at Walmart. So we wrap that around the ends. This is why I buy the ponytail holders. Oh, that one just disappeared. This is why I buy them in packs of a thousand. You go through a lot of them. There we go. And we're wrapping her this way. Right. 
paper pearl and sometimes it doesn't always pearl the way you want it to at first so you might have to wrap it a few times there we go this one I don't worry so much about the lift because the pearl that's coming down around her shoulder lays flatter so we just wrap that around hold it in place and connect it to the leg and then when that dries that's how her mane turns out and then the tail depends how detailed you want to get with the tail you can do the same thing with the straws or my personal favorite they come with a built-in cylinder to wrap it around just wrap it around the leg make sure that the hair lays out flat and not wound up in a tight little knot Owl. Now these ponies will, I'm probably going to hit them with the blow dryer once I get home or to the hotel room. Um, you can speed up the drying process with the blow dryer and that will kind of help heat set them. But I'm lazy. I like to just style them, leave them on the shelf and come back to them a few days later. But I will have these guys, I'll hit them with the blow dryer tonight. You can come by my booth tomorrow, booth number 520, the new gray mayor. You can see how well these techniques work. Okay, now we're getting a little more complicated. Pinkie Pie. She's got massive wild curls. And Hasbro kind of did a nice job with the twisty curl, but that is not Pinkie Pie's hair. So, wash it, condition it, flat iron it. Rinse and repeat for every single pony. Literally rinse and repeat. There we go. That flattened out. See, I, I use the flat iron on just about every single one of them because it helps get rid of that twist that Hasbro puts the hair into. There we go. Ew. knots in there. Knots straight out of the box. There we go. That looks nicer. Spread out. Okay, Pinkie Pie. She has one little curl that comes down over her nose. I'm just going to separate that out and leave it for now. Then I'm going to take I'm going to separate her hair into thirds. So we're just going to take the first batch. I didn't rinse it again. Keep forgetting. Okay. Just that bit. Separate out that third. There we go. Now for Pinkie Pie, I like to use the thinner straws. Because she has really tight curls. So, same thing we did with Rarity as far as getting the hair on there. And sometimes I pull it too far, so I gotta do it again. And usually when I'm doing this against the sink, I kind of push the pony between my stomach and the sink to hold them in place. I'm just gonna try to balance it here and hope it stays put. Wrap the end of it around with the paper towel. Ponytail holder. Okay. Now, with Rarity, I told you we had to spread out the hair and keep the curl long against the straw. Pinkie Pie, pretty much wrap it tight against itself. So, see, she's got it in one tight bunch. We want that right up against her head. Take the ponytail holder. And this is where it gets a little tricky. You kind of figure out how to get that there. So we will hold that in place around the leg. So now we do the same thing twice more. Another 
straw. Bobby pin. And once you get used to just holding the things in place, just kind of throw it out. So we've got another ponytail holder. Pull it down over the head. Can you? Okay, fine. Hold it down on the leg. And see this one got it on the front and that's going to keep pulling that straw up so we need to do another one on the back. So just kind of, there you go and then that keeps that curl right at the top of the head. Hello, I do not want that. Yeah and if the, the straws, if that ponytail holder pulls that straw down like that, not the way you wanted. Just kind of keep working at it till you get the hair to stay put where you want it. My ponies always look like I have been torturing them when I restore them. I dip them in boiling water. I cut their hair. I'm, I'm very mean to them. You should see when I customize them. Not only do I put them in boiling water, but I also scalp them. Yeah, torture session. Great if you're angry at somebody, just go customize ponies. Then at least you end up with something pretty at the end of it. Yes. Exactly. Yes, go all Roger Rabbit on them. <laughs> You know, you have to have a, a, a little bit of a mean, mean spirit or a, be willing to harm the pony to make it pretty. Oh yes, twisted sense of humor. Okay. And we just wrap her up again. And you wanna make sure that you're always wrapping the curls in the same direction so you don't have one curl going this way and then the next curl going that way. Because that's Generally not how curls are on real people's hair when they grow. All right. And hold another one in place. So that one is just not cooperating tonight. There. Okay, so we've got that little bit left out because she has that funny little curl that comes over her nose. What I like to use for that is a pipe cleaner. So I'll just like fold it in half and kind of twist it up a little bit. Because that curl we need to get really, really tight. So wrap it, ar wrap it around the end. And of course, the ponytail holder to hold it in place. Hook it over the ears and over all the other straws. There you go. So, pinky pie. Looks nice and tortured. <laughs> She looks like she gets really good TV reception. <laughs> yeah, really. So the tail, you just take another thin straw and 
wrap it up tight up against itself, not thin and spread out. If you do the spread out curls, you get the long ones like this. ponies and all sorts of weird ways like this. There we go. Pinkie Pie has <laughs> the craziest hairstyle. She is crazy, so obviously you have to go through a crazy process to make her look good. Now, yes. What I do with the curls is we shall use Rarity here for an example. Um, after they dry, it'll be in three tight curl bunches. Then you go through and you very gently separate it. And separate it. And separate it. And see now, well, I, I did kind of set hers, but that helps the curls spread out. And in some cases, if you don't want it quite like that, like we want to put Rarity's hair back to pretty, just wrap it around your finger and slide it off. And it's fixed. But you, you can gently separate the curls. If you just like grab it and like put a comb through it and pull it straight out, they are going to separate and frizz and go all over the place and be a really big mess. So you want to be gentle and very deliberate in the bunches that you separate it. I'll usually do like three or four plugs at a time. So yeah, that's that's three plugs and three plugs. Yeah, and if you boil perm Pinky's hair, it stays up a little more. This one, I did not boil perm it. So it's falling down a little more because it got messed up on the car ride from Ohio to here. All right. Now, princesses have the long flowing hair, but they've got the wavy hair. So that's another simpler style to do. Um, if you can braid, you can do the princess waves. Okay. Conditioner. And with Cadence, um, how she's got those pretty little curls just at the end, I would only roll the straw halfway up and then rubber band it in place. But this way I'm going to show you Celestia and Luna, even though I couldn't find any of those in the store right now. All you bronies must have beat me to them in the stores and bought them out. Yes. Well, I, I have to admit to guilt, I've been known to do that too, just so I can customize them. Okay. Man. And of course Hasbro is great with putting blue in the hair sometimes. Or, ah, in this case, she has these little loops in the tail where it didn't quite come through all the way. So you can hook your comb through it and pull it out. And then that hits the hair that's trapped inside back out the pony. Um, sometimes, especially in the main, it will be sewn into place. The only way to get rid of that loop is to just cut it. Um, otherwise, every time you comb it, it's going to get caught on it. So. There we go. Pretty hair. And flat iron. And I keep turning the flat iron on and off and on and off. If it starts getting too hot, uh, I, I don't like how the hair sizzles. I don't want to damage it. Yeah. Okay, so for cadence, split it apart into three chunks. 
I'm going to have to do the sticking her up against the sink or the thing to hold her in place. Or, you know, if you're barefoot, you can sit there and hold her in your feet. And then just do a quick, tight braid. And I realized I forgot to wash, to rinse the conditioner out of the hair again here. When I'm at home, I have my set pattern of how I do it, and here it's a little different. So we just braid it like that. The tighter the braid, the tighter the waves are going to be. You can braid each color individually, depends on how uh, crimped you want the hair. All right. And then just tie it off like that. Leave it that easy. You do the same thing for the tail. And if you want, you can always rubber band it to the head instead of straight down. That kind of helps it get a little bit more of that outward flowing lift. It won't dry completely standing out like that, but it does help it stay upright a little bit more. And you would do the same thing to the tail. I just have a 10 minute warning. So were there any other questions, anything in particular you wanted to know? What about Applejack? Applejack is pretty simple. You do the same thing as Twilight Sparkle, just give her the forelock. And then I would just pull the hair straight down and rubber band it around the leg because she doesn't really have much curl to it. Um, actually, I do have an Applejack here with that lovely plastic in the hair they sew in there. No, I did not forget it. I did not forget about Hasbro's favorite background pony. There we go. Okay. My hands are too wet to pull this plastic strip off. Generally, I don't like doing this. Okay, it's gone. Somewhere. I'll pick it up later. <laughs> so, there we go. Conditioner. Do the hair. This one, I can tell it's pretty good. She doesn't really need to be combed. Hasbro sometimes doesn't get the hair in all the way, and you'll get loose bits. Yes. Um, Suave is my favorite to use. Um, I didn't particularly like what the Bath and Body Works conditioner did to my hair, so it became the pony conditioner. Um, I use generally any conditioner, but you want to look for one with silicone in it. That's like the key ingredient for pony hair. All right, so for Applejack, we give her a little forelock like the others. Thank you. Rinse the conditioner. Appreciate it. Yes. Okay. And her haircut. So she's got her four lot. All right, and then with this. I mean, really, I've seen people wrap the hair around a marble at the bottom. I've never managed to get that to stay. I don't know how they do it. Um, but yeah, with Applejack, I would just kind of leave the hair like that. And you can find red ones of these, so it would be accurate. Just wrap it around the end of the hair. I'm going to stay put. Wrap it around my finger, put the hair there, and then just slide my finger out. So that's got her hair in her little ponytail. Pull the forelock down. And we'll use yellow so it blends in. All right. And then spread it out. And then, you know, you'd treat the tail the same way as the mane. All right. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, 
Ah, you want to keep the water out of them? How do you avoid that with the boiling process? I rip the heads off. Yeah. Um, let's grab the pony. Some of them are harder than others. Pegasus, the uh, Pegasus are harder because those wings are always getting in the way. No. And usually I'll I'll go ahead and soften them up and boil them um, to make the head easier to get off. But yeah, man, that is on there. Nope. You just dry them with the head loose. There we go. There. Yes. You may take a picture of the headless pony. <laughs> yes. So I did this as you one. Um, if you look inside, this one is clean inside, but sometimes there will be mold in there. Um, if the tail washer is rusted, I would take pliers, reach it in there, pull the tail all the way out, remove that washer, and use toothpaste. That does a great job getting rid of the rust and uh, wash that out. Maybe even pour bleach inside the pony. Not 100%, dilute it about one part bleach to 10 parts water. That'll kill any mold and spots inside. And then you let her dry open like this and that makes sure that any moisture inside is gone. I usually leave them next to the dehumidifier and that helps them dry. Uh, do you mean like the pony's body is sticky? Like disgusting stuff. I have heard horror stories about people finding spiders in their pony's hair and nasty, icky stuff. Sometimes I wear gloves when I'm working with ponies. Um, I had one batch that came from somebody's barn and when I touched them, they had this powder on them that made my skin itch. It, it was like some weird mold. So I wore gloves to clean those. Um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, uh, those got a bleach bath. But I, I don't leave them in the bleach too long because I don't want it to bleach out their colors or their hair. Um, leave it in for maybe five minutes or so. Uh, yes. There are certain hair colors, especially Pinkie Pie. Or Pinkie Pie, yes, this is Pinkie Pie. It's Pinkie Shy. Uh, <laughs> This is pussycat pink. It's also known as fading pink. Leave it in the sun too long, it will turn white. The bleach will speed up that process. So, it, and it depends on the pony, different colors and the, the formula, formulations of the plastic. Yes, it's the hair, not the body. Sometimes it's the cutie mark too. The paint on it can fade out. Um, uh, the gentleman in the back. Do I merge, merge accessories? Um, do I create the accessories when they're... Okay, yes, I can. Um, I use epoxy sculpt. I'll use Sculpey. I will repurpose other toys' accessories and maybe cut them up or do things to make them fit, but you can create missing accessories. How crucial is the conditioner? I would say extremely. Um, that is what smooths out the hair. It helps make it um, slicker so it doesn't tangle as easily. And if you get the really dried out frizzy hair like this, that is poofy and sticking up like crazy, it helps weigh it down. So see, that, now obviously this, this is wet versus dry, but you can see the huge difference in it. And it, it changes the texture, it makes it so much softer that there's a huge difference. High silicone conditioner, you want to look for that higher up on the list of ingredients. Yes? Oh, okay, do I know how to repair a G1 pony that has been torn, like the plastic, the body? Um, 
I would fill in the inside with Primo or Fimo clay and then boil it to set it. Hey, look at that. There's glue flying around. Um, that, that is one way to do it. I've, I've re-sculpted ears. So it, you could have someone commission it. You can experiment on G4s and then use those techniques on G1s. But we don't have time to do any more, unfortunately. I will be outside if you have any other questions. I've got business cards, too, if you all would like to visit my Tumblr and learn more about this. Uh, feel free to email me at any time. Thank you so much for coming.